Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, my name's Matt. And I'm Rachel, aka Marshall Frank. And that's because I have my Marshall's badge on. This is true. Not, Not a- because I'm related to Marshall Brain in any way. Anyway. You wish you were. <laughs> I do. Anyway, so do and we are the coolest people on the planet, and this is the coolest stuff on the planet. Disagree with the first statement, but yes, this is the coolest stuff on the planet. And today's cool stuff was inspired by our, by our little jaunt that we've been taking lately to St. Petersburg, and we're headed to the city that inspired St. Pete, Venice, Italy. So instead of the Venice of the North, this is the actual Venice. The real one. Yeah. Uh, so Venice uh, is often called a floating city because um, of its watery location. It's built on a lagoon off the coast of Italy, and it's built on more than 100 islands. Mm-hmm. Um, I think 118 to be precise, and lots of wood pilings, which serve as basically the city's foundation. Exactly. So it's a city of canals, bridges, Woody Allen, and boats. Woody <laughs> Allen, huh? Explain. I'm, I'm, I can't. Uh, Okay, so this watery setup makes Venice a unique and romantic place, and that's probably why more than 20 million tourists flock to the city every year. Mm -hmm. An interesting fact about these tourists, though, and I thought we we should add this trivia because, I don't know, it's just really funny. (laughs) Apparently, uh, all those tourists can get a bit um, bothersome. They can be a bit of a nuisance. Of course. So the city of Venice has repeatedly launched tourist education programs. That sounds ominous. And there are even um, decorum patrols that make sure tourists behave themselves and treat, you know, the city and its residents as they should be treated. Yeah, Mom, uh, you know, I'm going over to Venice for the summer. I've got to get into a tourist education camp for a little bit. and (laughs) uh, It's going to be all right. They're going to learn some decorum. Yeah, they have bread and water there, apparently. Maybe some cheese. I don't know. So let's talk about boats, Rachel. All right. Specifically, gondolas. This is the iconic traditional form of transportation in Venice that now mostly only takes tourists around. So, you know, if you live in the city, you probably don't use gondolas very often, mostly because they're expensive. Mm -hmm. Um, And I guess tourists do it because it's, well, it's beautiful. Come on. And it's traditional. It is traditional. Um, An interesting little fact about uh, gondolas, Matt, Mm -hmm. and I didn't know this, and maybe you didn't either, but... By tradition, gondolas are all painted black. Because somebody's very morbid? No, it's it's all about conformity. Oh, like it's a gothic thing, like like you gotta be cool and you gotta paint your No, they're not gothic boats. Okay. (laughs) No, it it, it, it all goes back to this um, this old medieval law, because basically way back when gondolas uh, used to be owned by the wealthy, and so they started to try to outdo each other with their fancier and fancier gondolas, right? Okay. So basically, after a while, the folks in power were like, this isn't good, this is excessive, and so they decreed that you could not, um, you could not paint or fancy up your gondolas anymore. Just leave them black. Yep, and now they're traditionally painted black, so it's become, it's gone from this this law to this sort of this sort of tradition in itself. Huh. So, well, pretty interesting. That is very cool. If you're gonna get on the water, you're probably gonna pass through the Grand Canal, which is the city's biggest canal and thoroughfare, kind of like in Atlanta, Peachtree Street or, or Ponds, Ponds, maybe you know, yeah, one of whatever these. the main avenue is of your city. Yes. Yeah, so the Grand Canal is crossed by um, several bridges, one of which is Venice's most famous, the Rialto Bridge. Mm -hmm. But in fact, Matt, um, Venice has more than 400 bridges, um, and all of them have names. Isn't that cool? So another must-see in Venice is the St. Mark's Square, or the Piazza San Marco. It's the largest square in Venice, full of people and pigeons. Interesting fact... In 2008, the city of Venice banned people from feeding the pigeons because they were getting out of hand. Apparently, it's quite a large pigeon population. Yes. Okay, so another famous uh, attraction of Venice is um, Carnival, or oh, Carnevale, yes. which is um, pretty much like your standard carnival in places like Rio, pre-Lent, um, sort of Mardi festivities. Gras? Yeah, except for the outfits. And they're also balls, fancy balls, nice. that these these costumed revelers attend. Wow. That's Venice. It's an interesting place. I wish we could talk a little bit more about it, but I think that that's a pretty good snapshot of what the city like has it. to offer. Um, also check out St. Mark's Basilica. It's supposed to be very nice. 
Um, and we also have a lot of content about the city on our website. Um, we have maps of the city, videos um, actually about uh, plans to save the city from sinking. And also, I think we even have a quiz on the Ooh. city. So head to HowStuffWorks.com, check it all out. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travel podcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.